Hello, what's up everybody? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja and I am here again with another video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So I'm coming today with a beautiful topic and I feel like this is one of the topics that we need to have conversations about. And that is, you should never share everything that you know with everybody. Now, I'm going to go in depth why I say this. And of course, I know that it is important to share. And I feel like, especially if you're a light worker, you always gravitate towards helping people, even if it's not something you're not intending to do. You always find yourself in the shoes of a person who is making other people's lives better in one way or another. And I can relate to that myself. But however, it is important that I say this, you know, so that people know when to draw the line because you don't want to now give a lot and give yourself away. So without wasting any more of, excuse me, your time, let's just go straight to today's video. So let's get to it. I know that we live in the content a world now the modern world of content where everybody wants to trend so we need to talk about something and sometimes we dig deeper and start revealing some of the secrets or some of the things that are supposed to be known just by us and maybe some few people in our lives simply because we want to make it in the content industry if i can call it that but it is important to know when to draw the line when you share the information that you share you share it with the goodwill of your heart because you want to make someone's life better. But there are particular things that will never be able to apply to nobody except you. The reason why you're not supposed to share everything is because your DNA is coded uniquely based on the bloodline of your ancestors. We are the returning spirits and souls of our ancestors. So we never really die. Dying is an illusion and we are not bodies we are spiritual beings who are experiencing life in a physical form because we live in a third dimension or in the physical plane called life or called earth so some of the t things we are limited to tap into because we are still in the physical world but it doesn't mean that we are unable to do that um, in one way or another so your ancestors live within you that is why we are still able to trace people's relations using blood because blood carries memory that memory that is in the blood can remind you who was your great grandmother or your great grandfather it can trace you where you come from from who from which people so that means that you share the blood with people who are not even here anymore and there's a possibility that we still share the blood with our uh, celestial ancestors who were here before the human race that we know was here. So this line is a long bloodline that is usually specific with each and everyone's bloodline. So there are things that you came to this world to fulfill. They will live a karmic life where we need to come back if we didn't learn the previous time or the previous life, the lessons that we needed to learn or we did not fulfill our purposes that we were brought to fulfill. And therefore, we will be reincarnated in different bodies, possibly maybe even in different races, just so we can come and fulfill the purpose that we are meant to fulfill so that we can be able to ascend to other universes and to other worlds because we should... Also understand that it, it, we, there's, there's other universes as well. With this being said, uh, you need to know where to draw the line when you are sharing. There are things that you are being given. There's this wisdom you are being given for you to use in the current situation that you are facing so that you'll be able to come out of a situation. Maybe when you have conquered what you were fighting or the challenges you were presented with that your ancestors were giving you the wisdom for you can then maybe share later but make sure that you don't share information that you have not applied so i think that's the most important point that i would like to share with you never share information with other people that you have not applied yourself and proven to work and benefited from with your own life because then if you give other people your codings because these are codes and remember like if you watch the movie the matrix this is how we are shown that each and everything is, is numbers. 
there will be some numbers that are, you're going to come across all the time. It's like this thing, every time when you look at time or at the clock, it's always the same time or it's always the same numbers or the number arrangement is always the same. The universe is trying to have a conversation with you. The universe is trying to communicate with you. So everything is numbers. Our energy frequencies are numbers. Uh, everything is measured in numbers. And we need to know why numbers are important to us so even our dna is coded with particular unique numbers that only we can decode so that is why once in a while we need to sit outside the sun bask in the sun and allow our bodies to absorb all these nutritions that come from the sun and allow our nine earth hair as melanated carbon beings to work as our aerials so that they can absorb all the wisdom or all the information or download the information that we need from the sun so that we will be able to have the thoughts that are constructive or the thoughts that are going to help ourselves and the thoughts that are going to help us help other people. But you need to always know where to draw the line and you need to always know which information is for you and which information is for other people. So most people, they don't, they don't even know that even when you are sleeping, that is when you, you are even more awake because your brain doesn't sleep. Your subconsciousness doesn't sleep. Your body gets tired because it is a physical tool that you have. It gets tired, it will need a rest. And there have been uh, neurological doctors who have done amazing studies, you know, that you can also check yourself online where they actually studied the brain of a person when they are sleeping. And they were comparing the activities of the brain when one is sleeping and when one is awake. And you'll be surprised if, you, if I tell you that when they made that research, they found out that our brains are even more awake when we are sleeping than they are when we are awake. So when in my language, it's, the most beautiful thing about my language is that when you are a moon or an, or an African being and you are still able to translate something in your own language, that means there is your truth from your ancestors, from your great ones. So in my language, when we sleep, we say, or when you are sleepy, we say, unobtongo, upetwe uptongo, uptongo, right? And then when we refer to our guiding angels, we call them amatongo, you know? So it is safe to say for us that when we go to sleep, we visit the world of our guiding angels. So uptongo, when you are sleeping, having uptongo, you are actually not there. You have visited, you have traveled somewhere else in the world of those who are sleeping. That is why city balele, pants abalele. Balele because basezun lama tongo, banga matongo. So when you put up tongo, you sleep and visit them. It makes a lot of sense. People who are Zulu speaking, Kosa speaking, and Devele, and, and maybe more, they'll be able to understand what I'm saying right now because this is how we speak in each and every day of our lives. This is the language that we use. Not realizing that even our own African languages are carrying meaning that we are not being aware of. So you need to know when to share the information and when not to share the information. You will get your information as you bask under the sun and as you do the downloading and letting your nine ether hair absorb or, or download all the information that you need. The information that you have downloaded will show itself in your dreams. The dreams that you are dreaming are different in many ways. They might be your subconsciousness showing you the thing that you are already thinking about or the thing that you are already aware of, but you are not aware of in your awaking life. So it, when you are awake, you come to this other physical plane world where now when you remember your dream, you are remembering something that you thought about in a different world. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just how it is. We live in the duality world. There's a physical world and then there's a spiritual world. So also when you are sitting and then all of a sudden you get this beautiful idea, I actually need to consider doing this. Why I never thought of this before? Let me do this. Or maybe you'll be watching TikTok or YouTube or whatever content and then someone will say something, even if it's just one word. And that word or that thing that a person is saying would actually help you to uncover even more of things that you already know 
and then you will remember as if what they are saying you've ever heard it before they just came to remind you so i do strongly believe in synchronities that is why i spoke about numbers you never come across same numbers over and over by coincidence i don't believe in coincidences in life and i don't think you should but it is your choice so coincidences are actually trying to get your attention to say hey look there is no way you're going to see a yellow bird in the same place for five days in a row. There is a synchronity there that is trying to make you pay attention to something, just like how numbers work as well, just like how our thoughts work as well. That is why the more you think of something, the more likely you are likely to think to dream about it. So you, you, if you think about something so much in a physical plane life, you might take that thought with you, with your subconsciousness to the the world of Amatong or to the spiritual world and that's where you get to fix whatever that you are worrying about in a higher grade level because spiritual the spiritual world is the most advanced than here that is why you see yourself flying when you are dreaming that is why you can be in this country and that country within five minutes in a dream because there are no limitations in that world but when you are this side there are limitations and if those limitations are really really worrying you there is a chance that the more you keep thinking about them, you will dream about them because now they are being solved. Your problems are being solved. So going back to today's topic, do not share everything, especially when it comes to dreams. Never share your dreams with every person because if you happen to share your dreams and maybe you're not even aware what they mean and you share them with somebody who might have a clue what they mean, they can use them as your ammunition. They can actually attack you spiritually even without you knowing that they're attacking you because they already have a, the, the understanding of what your dream means or symbolizes. So be careful who you share your dreams with and be careful with the information that you share. Don't share everything. It is okay to be a, a person who's open and you are helping people, especially if you're a star seed or your light worker, uh, you'd want to open up so that because you feel this urge of wanting to be of service for other people or for the world but always draw the line. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. So if you have an experience of what maybe I've spoken about, maybe you've ever shared something and you saw someone took your idea and made it their idea when it was actually your idea. And remember, I said ideas are not just coming out of nowhere. They are your wisdom that comes from above after you have downloaded information from the great ones or your, or your forefathers or your guiding angels. So when you talk too soon, chances are people are going to use that against you. So if you have any experience of something like that or you know someone who experienced something like that, please do share it down below in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed, please do press the subscribe button, guys, and press the like button. So thank you so much for tuning in today. See you next time. So from me to you, all I can say is I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.